Hello everyone, this is Rosina Amoli from Fellowship Mission School presenting you a video covering few topics of Python Pandas. Topics to be covered are data frames, series, descriptive statics with pandas, some functions in that. Then next is advanced operation on data frame which will cover pivoting, sorting, aggregation, creating histograms and function application. Now the very first question arises that is what is pandas? Pandas is an open source library of Python providing high performance data manipulation and analyzing tools. Now why do we use it? Pandas are used to store huge amount of data. Pandas is a library. In day to day life libraries are used to get different types of books. Similarly in this pandas library, we can have different type of functions which are used to store data and analyze those stored data. Now to store data, we have two different types. That is, one is called as series and other is called as data frames. This both are data structures which are used to store data. Both the structures are completely different from each other. Okay, so we shall begin with the very first topic that is pandas series now the very first point is it is stored in one dimensional array that is 1d array this is also called as homogeneous series homogeneous series means what only one type of data can be stored iska matlab agar hum ek value store kar rahe hai jo integer hai so rest of the values should also be an integer if first value is string, so rest of the values should also be string. There are two properties of series, mutable and immutable. Datas are mutable, whereas size is immutable. This means if we have five elements, hai, five elements ki series, hai, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Or agar maine isme six insert karne ki koshish ki, so there will be an error because the size limitation is five. So it will only accept five elements. And instead of that, if I'm trying to change the fifth element with any other number, for example, agar maine five ko replace kiya ten se, so that is possible because data is mutable. That is, we can change the data, and size hum change nahi kar sakte. That is called as immutable. Practically, we shall see how we will uh, use a series. Now, the very first thing we have to import pandas library. As we are going to use functions of pandas, so we have to use pandas library. Now, here the very first statement is import pandas as pd. Now, pd is what? pd is an object which I have created of pandas library. So, next time whenever I want to use pandas library, instead of writing pandas, I will only write pd. Now, the second line is, I am going to create a series. Now, to create a series, I have to use a function called as series. So, the second statement is, a equals to pd.series. Now, your a is a variable that is going to hold a series. So, if I want to print the series, I am going to write the name of the variable. Name of the variable is a. As I write a and press enter, I will see the series. Now your A is showing an empty series. So why empty series? Because I have not inserted any values in that. Now if I want to insert an element. In the next statement, I have insert one element that is 5. A equals to PD dot series in bracket 5. It means 5 is one element. Now if I want to print the series, I have to write the variable name. That is A. Now here you can see A 0. 5 whereas 0 is the index position and 5 is the element we shall see the next example now in the previous example by default index position starts with 0 now in this example i will give index a name now you can see the next example b equals to pd dot series in bracket 5 comma index equals to in bracket i have given student 1 now it is important to know whenever you give an index name it should always be a list 
B is the variable name where the series or the elements are going to be stored. So if I want to see the output of B, I'm going to write B. Now here you can see B, the name of the index is student1 and the element is 5. Now we shall see increasing the index. Now there is only one element but that element can be stored in different indexes. For example, b equals to pd dot series in bracket 5 comma index equals to 2 index I have given that is student 1 comma student 2. Now we will see increasing the indexes. If I increase indexes and there is only one element to be stored in that index, it will copy the same value on the multiple index. For example, b equals to pd dot series in bracket 5 comma index equals to student 1 comma student 2. Now here I have given two indexes that is student 1 and student 2. The first element will be copied multiple times the number of time indexes are created. Other one more example we can see uh, creating series with the help of list. Now example you can see over there is c equals to pd dot series in bracket a list is passed. List is always passed in square brackets. So the list is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. To print the list of series I have to write the name of the variable that is c. Now as I press c the output is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. It is one dimensional array though, so the output will be in a single column. And by default, the index position will start from 0. Now in the next slide, if the same example has to be given some index, I'm going to use one attribute called as index along with the list. So the index position is A, B, C, D, E. So same wise, first element will be stored at index A. So once we'll take a recap, what we have seen till now, the very first is how to create an empty series. Second is series with one element and a default index. Third is series with one element and a name given to that index. Now we have seen practical demonstration of how to create a series. Now we will see some theory about how to create a series or the object of series. Now firstly using series method and create an empty series we have seen in the demonstration how to create an empty series uh, just take a glance over here import pandas as pd I have taken an library pandas and I have created an object that is pd ob is nothing but an object ob equals to pd dot series now I, have now I have inserted nothing in the series so the series will be empty secondly in first exam, we have seen this range method in grade 11. Now your range is given as 5. So elements will be stored from 0 to 4. It starts with 0 as well as index also starts with 0. In other example, we have passed a list and the element of list is heterogeneous. That is integer and float is mixed values. Now 3, 5, 4 are integer value and 4.5 is float value. Now your last value is float. So instead of giving an error, it will typecast the entire list. That is typecasting means it will take float and convert all the integer to float. That, is, that means it will give output as 3.0, 5.0, 4.0 and 4.5 respectively. So we shall move to the another topic that is data frame. Data frame is also a type of data structure that is used to store data. Here in data frame the data are stored in two dimensional array. Two dimensional array is also called as 2D array. Data are stored in tabular format. Tabular format that is rows and columns. Now whenever it's about rows and column it has two axes that is x axis and y axis. Data frames are mutable. Mutable means what? It can be changed. Data can be changed as well as size can be changed. Whereas in series we have seen only data can be changed whereas size were immutable. But here both the things are mutable. Now whenever we talk about data frame are heterogeneous. Heterogeneous means what? Mixture of two or different types of data types. So now we shall see how to create data frame. 
Data frame object can be created by passing a data in 2D array. 2D array means two dimensional array. Now the very first thing if you are going to create a data frame, we have to import a library that is pandas. So the first statement of our program will be import pandas as pd. pd is the object and the syntax that is data frame object any name given to the data frame equals to pd dot data frame and there are three attributes first attribute is 2d data structure any two dimensional data structure comma second is columns that is using column attribute we can give name of the columns and third is index that is the sequence of the indexes now data frame can be created using different datas as well that is 2d dictionaries 2d arrays series type object another data frame objects now practically we shall see how to create a data frame so the first statement is import pandas now i have not written as pd so whenever i want to use pandas library i have to write pandas so in the below statement you can see d equals to pandas dot data frame as the attributes have not specified the attributes so my data frame is an empty data frame so if i want to see the output i'm going to call the variable and the variable is d so as you can see i have entered d and the output is empty data frame now in the second example you can see if i want to insert 2d array i've used list d equals to pandas dot data frame in bracket the first list is one two three and the second list is four five six so your one two three is one row and four five six is the another row so as i press d the output will be one two three four five six now here as i said there are two indexes row index and column index now there are two rows so the index of rows is zero one and there are three columns so there are three index that is zero one two now another example if i want to give index a name d1 equals to pandas or data frame in bracket two rows i have to give two indexes so first is student one and the second is student two now if i want to see the data of d1 i'm going to write d1 and here i can see the datas instead of 0 and 1 the name or the row index is replaced with that is student 1 and student 2 similarly in the next example if i want to change the name of the columns i have to use the attribute columns so here d1 equals to pandas dot data frame in bracket two rows that is 2d array comma the next attribute is columns equals to cs comma ip comma physics it means first column will be represented by cs second by ip and third by physics comma index index is the third attribute that is student one and student two so the output will be the name of the columns will be cs ip physics name of the row index will be student one student two now instead of using list in the next example we shall use dictionaries i have used a variable dict equals to keys and the value the key is cs the value is 30 40 50 comma second key is ip and the value is 34 55 34 now i want to convert this dictionary into data frame so i'm going to use a variable d3 equals to pandas dot data frame in bracket dictionary now if i want to see the data frame i'm going to use the name of the variable that is d3 the first column will be cs for 30 40 50 second column will be ip 34 55 34 as we have not provided row index so by default it will be 0 1 2 now if i want to give name to the row index next example shows how to give name to the row index 0 will be changed by student 1 student 2 student 3 respectively so here was the practical demonstration of uh, how to create uh, data frames using different data structure now the same we shall see in some theoretical examples 
now here you can see some examples the first example is now if i'm using an array i have to use one more library that is numpy so i have imported two libraries one is pandas and one is numpy here i have created an array which has two rows now if i want this array to be converted in a data frame i'm going to use our object dtf equals to pd dot data frame and i will call the object that is m array and here i can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 the name of the column is automatically generated over here same goes for the row index now here in the second example we will give name for the columns we have to use the attribute called as columns columns equals to 1 2 3 and by default the row indexes will be 0 and 1 now here in the third example we have given column name as well as indexes now here in this slide we will see there's some attributes related to data frame and if i want to use those attributes there is a syntax which has to be followed the syntax is data frame object that is whatever variable you have created of data frame dot name of the attributes now here in the next point there are few attributes of data frame so here one by one practically we shall see how these attributes we are going to use the first attribute is index now i'm going to use index on a previously created data frame that is d1 so the name of the data frame is d1 and the name of the attribute is index so the syntax is going to be d1 dot index you can see in the example d1 dot index it is going to give me the index name and the index name is student1 student2 similarly second attribute is columns d1 dot column will give the names of the columns that is cs ip physics third is axis that is what does x axis consist and what does y axis consist so x axis is index that is your rows are student 1 student 2 and your columns are cs ip and physics now the next attribute is d types d types is nothing but the data types so whatever is the data type of a particular column that if i want to know then i can use the attribute called as d type so here i'm going to use d1 dot d type first column is cs cs is having an integer value so the data type is integer same ip and physics is also having an integer value so the data type is integer so the next attribute is size size gives the number of element that are present in the data frame so number of elements over here are six d1 dot size and it will give me output as six next is shape now shape will give me what type of 2d array it is we have two rows and three columns so the shape of this data frame will be 2 comma 3 as we can see here in the example d1 dot shape which will give us output as 2 comma 3 next attribute is values so what are the values we have inserted in it what array we have used so d1 dot values will give me array of two rows and three columns next attribute is uh, empty so here is the example d1 dot empty the output is false it means there is the data frame is not empty next attribute is end in end in n means what dimensional array are we using now here we are using two dimensional array so the output over here we will get that is two here is the last attribute of data frame that is t t is nothing but transpose transpose means the rows will be converted into columns and the columns will be converted into rows so here we can see d1 dot transpose so whatever columns that is cs ip physics were the columns that are converted into rows and whatever were the rows that are converted into columns that is student one and student two. if i want to see previous data of my data frame so d1 student and student two in transpose they are converted into columns and the columns that is cs ip and physics those are converted into rows so here we end we have covered two topics major topics of python pandas first is series and second is data frame how to create series and data frames and what are the differences between series and data frame